are you dealing with the, the ups and downs? Of, you know, it's kind of your rookie year in a way as well. Um, you know, you had you know great game against the Colts, kind of a, an up and you know rough time a little bit last week against the Titans. How are you kind of handling just the, the ebbs and flows of, of a professional season? Um, you just it is what it is, man. Um, every week, every week you got to put your best effort forward. Um, you got to be got to be sharp every week, and you know if we if you get too lax or whatever, that's that's you're gonna get exposed. Um, not saying that I did, but every week is just a learning experience. You got to be sharp every single week, uh, week in and week out, as a as a whole unit. Um, everybody has their stuff they can get better on, including me. Um, you know, so we just got to detail our work and and, and get better. Um, so my rookie, you know, it's my rookie year. You just get better from from every week and, and learn from what happened week before making the uh, corrections so it doesn't happen again and you just move forward and get one percent better all the time. Hey you, Sydney, uh, with Minnesota everybody talks about their receivers, their route running. Have you seen that on film? Uh, yeah, talented players, talented players. So um, all we got to do is do us and, and compete and that's what it's going to come down to. You mentioned that the playing inside is kind of cool. What is the difference between inside and outside as a corner? Uh, it's more challenging. It's um, a lot more a lot more moving parts, so you gotta, you know, be on your P's and Q's at all times. Um, so I like the challenge. So um, keeps me keeps me very engaged. Obviously, corner's fun. You get to obviously lock up one on one most of the time. So it's for for corner <clears throat> for corner most of the time, it's less thinking. Um, less thinking. Less thinking. Yes. Um, inside, it's, it's more it's more moving parts, and I like I like I like that. You don't have that sideline as your friend either. Oh, uh, no, that's, that's a bad, bad thing. It's a bad thing. So, How much yeah. help are the veterans on the team, like Malcolm, even though you lost Rodney? How big of uh, help have they been for you to get like the rookie year kind of out the way and really, you know, really flow the game? Um, Malcolm's been a, a big, a big influence, you know. Um, he plays that position in, in our quarter package, obviously. Um, he's a veteran, veteran guy that knows basically all the position on the field. So um, whenever, you know, early on, I would, hey, Malcolm, what's, what's this, this, and this? He would tell me exactly what I needed to do. So that was, you know, that basically made me a better player, and I was able to grow every day um, and learn something new if I asked him a question or whatever I needed from him. So um, he's, been a, he's been a great example, even, even off the field. I, I look up to him off the field, aspire to be like him one day, and um, just, you know, everything moving forward. Hey, Sydney, as, as you know, when there's a big play, cornerbacks often often take the criticism. The coaching staff always says that there's more to a play than just the corners. But is that the nature of the, of the position that the eyes are going to be on you in those situations? Uh, definitely. I'm, yeah, I'm glad you said that because that's, that's what it is, that cornerback. Everybody sees you're, on, you're basically it's you versus another guy. Yeah. Um, that nobody else, you know, other positions, they're all jumbled up in the traffic. But when somebody gets beat, um, deep it just looks like one on one but that night that might not be the case or the coverage or it might not be his fault but everybody gets you know or the corner gets the blame for it so everybody's on the corner's head and you know oh get him out of here this it's, it, should, it shouldn't be like that it's, it's more to the coverage and more to the scheme and ne it's not necessarily his fault 100% of the time or whoever's fault 100% of the time the corners get the blame for it and, and, and so what kind of Personality or mentality does the cornerback have to deal with? Next play mentality. Um, forget about it. We know, you know, in our group or whoever, if if it's your fault, it's your fault. But don't don't listen to the outside noise because they don't they don't know. But we know we know what we got. We, we know our scheme. We know what we have. So it's all it's all about us at the end of the day.